I'd like to open my own milkshake business, making alcoholic milkshakes. Uh, I used to work at a cafe and a gym, so I'd probably become kind a of personal trainer or something. Uh, probably a big professional poker player. Oh my god. Um, I was actually, I had, a, I had a great uncle that was a pilot in the RAF. I got the bug for the sort of flying and stuff as a kid. I wanted to be a pilot in the RAF. I went to RAF Cranwell and did like a week's sort of testing and aptitude testing and all this sort of stuff for the view of, of going straight in at 18. Um, and they basically at the time they were sort of advising people to go to university, get a degree, join as a higher rank, blah 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 blah. Um, so that was why I ended up going to uni. Um, so I went to uni but whilst I was at uni my rugby took off and it was sort of a different route so whether or not I'd have been good enough and smart enough to do it we'll never know but that was that was the plan. Um, I just think over the few years I've gained a lot of knowledge from the different clubs I've been at and uh, I think I can pass that knowledge on so I love rugby so the easiest thing for me to do is just coach and pass the knowledge on uh, doing something I enjoy. So I was just finished doing my, uh, my bachelor in leadership and management. So I've been doing that for the last two and a half years and a few of the other lads. So that's a, that's a plus for me because I'm not a very academic person. <laughs> yeah, uh, and just finished doing a uh, level three PT course as well. So just taking up boxes really. <laughs> uh, I've just started coffee uh, wholesale and retail business. Couch grind coffee. It's CG coffee. Right, CG coffee. So it's couch grind. Right. But look, I couldn't write couch grind coffee, it's too long yeah. for Twitter. Cool. So it's CG coffee seven. Cool. What's your favourite coffee? Uh, the number seven blend, which is my signature blend. Which is also the position I've been the rugby field, so it works out well. It's a lot of admin <laughs> in what we call the real world. Yeah. Um, and a lot of permits and there's things that you know, if I say I'm going to do, then in the rugby department, we say we're going to do something, we, we go and do it. But in the real world, obviously, everyone else has got some other stuff going on. Um, it's just trying to stay on top of them to get what you need done in, in the time frame you need to be done by.